Blessed, most merciful, Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. And Lord, may they be your words. And I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I want to read to you a couple of verses of scripture, starting with uh, Amos 8, 11 and 12. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst, for, uh, a th or nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even uh, to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. Did you know that in Congress, they passed a House bill, H.R. 6090, was passed by Congress. Now it will be illegal to read certain passages publicly from the Bible, especially passages that state that the Pharisees or the Jews that they kill Jesus. It is, it, it is now considered hate speech. Even though it is the word of God, now that don't matter. They for many years have been trying to ban the King James Bible, and now Congress has found a way to do it. Just a little here and a little there. And this trend will only increase with time. Also, California for several, several years has, has attempted to make illegal the King James Bible as hate speech, and one day they will. The King James Bible has been banned from all public uh, school libraries in the state of Utah. One day it will be illegal to own, to carry, to read, to sell, or give away a King James Bible. Maybe you should buy several copies of it just in case. That's sad. You notice that they do not ban the Koran, the Tripitka, the Bagda Gita, and the uh, Uplandishad. Uh, now these are... These are uh, popular books of other religions and their books are, their books are not harassed uh, they're not banned only the King James Bible one must ask themselves why Bobby we read uh, 2 <clears throat> Timothy 3 verses 1 to 5 this know also that in the last days perish the time shall come for men shall be lovers of their selves covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, in incontent, fierce despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away. And I will read 1 Timothy 4, 1 and 2. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and a hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. These are the last days, and, and this is happening. This is happening. More and more of these fake perverted Bibles are being introduced into our churches and and the church basically has been turned over to Satan. Uh, Bobby, will you read John 14 and 6? Jesus saith unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And I will read Matthew 24, mm -hmm. verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Yes. Places today that, that you would expect to find some kind of love, compassion, in hospitals, in nursing homes, places like this, you, you see it more and more that that people are just they're just cold. To their, they're just cold to the elderly, yeah. the senior citizens, the people that are that can least defend themselves or take care of themselves. They're the ones that, that are being abandoned and, and being abused. Bobby, we read Ephesians six and thirteen. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all to stand. And what that means by taking on the whole armor of God, that, that means putting on the whole armor of God as in putting on the Holy Spirit and and then stand, stand on stand your faith. For Jesus, yeah. Galatians 3, 26 to 29. For ye are all children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. 
For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye all are one in Jesus Christ. And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. That is a promise of God. Yes. Now the Holy Spirit came to me last night and basically gave me this message to, to give to you. And I want to I want to give you this as a scenario, but this scenario in, in many ways and, and in many parameters with different people, uh, different events, different situations, but the pain and emotions, they are real. They are very real and, and they are happening all over America right now as, as, as I speak. Somewhere in America right now sets a mother of a four-year-old precious little baby boy in a waiting room. She is waiting for the doctors to call her back to her baby's room while they are running <clears throat> tests on the little boy. Her eyes are full of tears and pain and an, an unbearable pain for her precious little baby. Tears are falling down like rain. She looks over at the table beside her and there sets a King James Bible. She picks it up and she starts to read it. And starting at Genesis 1, she reads about how God created the world and the universe, and then Adam and Eve. Then she reads about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then she reads about Moses and the mighty miracles that God performed to set his children free from bondage out of Egypt. She reads on about how God parted the Red Sea for his children to cross on dry land. Then she reads how God fed his children manna from heaven for 40 years in the desert. And God loved his children in the desert so much that he would not even let their shoes or clothes wear out on this 40-year trek across the desert. Then she turned to John and started reading how the Word was made flesh and walked among us. And this was Jesus. And she thought now, she thought now, that is God, not the God of the Methodist or the Lutherans or the Catholics or, or, or anybody else, but this was God. This was, this was all God. Not, not found in any church, not found in any religion, but the Word, and the Word was made flesh. The one true living God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and the God of Moses. That God, the great I Am, the God of Israel, the one and only true living God, who spoke the whole universe into existence with words, because words have power, have might, have authority, and hold life and death. The one who set his children free from bondage out of Egypt. The one who parted the Red Sea. The one who fed his children manna from heaven. Hallelujah. That God, that one true living God. The one who is the Alpha and the Omega from everlasting to everlasting, without beginning and without end. The one who made everything, made everything seen and unseen, and everything known and unknown. For that God made it all. For nothing exists that God did not make. She admitted that she was a sinner in need of a savior. She repented of her sins. She begged the blood of Jesus cover her and wash all of her sins away. She found herself on her knees in that waiting room and she cared not who saw her or what they thought. She was now in her sackcloth and in, and in ashes and she prayed on for the life of her little baby boy. But she also prayed that thy will be done, Lord, knowing that her precious little boy would be safe no matter what the outcome was. But this can only happen if you place that Bible in that hospital waiting room for her to find. <clears throat> Jesus is calling you. Will you answer that call? Will you place a Bible and my book in the twinkling of an eye in your local hospital waiting room? You have no idea just how big of a blessing that this will be for you if you do this. And I will supply the Bibles and I will supply the books for free. Now, I am handicapped and I can hardly walk anymore, so I ask you to be my legs, and will you place a Bible and my book in your local hospital waiting room? You have no idea how big of a blessing this can be for someone else that is in need, dire need, in that waiting room. Please email me and I will send you one of my, uh, one set or two sets of my books so that you can place them in the waiting rooms uh, of hospitals near you. And if you need more, just ask, and I will send them right out. God bless you mightily for this work. And, and we, we all have work to do. 
this is a this is a very, very big blessing for all of us that, that will do this work. So I beg you to please place these Bibles, King James Bibles, in waiting rooms. You need to get as many out there as possible over the next few months because no telling when they're going to ban the King James Bible. Mm -hmm. If you want to hear from God, if you want to hear from God, do something, do anything that God really wants to have done. Yeah, and, and you will hear from God and Some, you will be blessed. Sometimes when I go to a doctor's appointment, I take a Bible and a book. Sometimes when you go to the dentist office, or, you know, if you're taking somebody yeah. to an appointment. <clears throat> now, there's there's people that will say, oh, well, there's Bibles already in there. But, you know, a lot of 90% of the time, these Bibles are these perverted Bibles. Yeah. They're not they're not the King James Bible. Mm -hmm. Bobby, will you read James 2 uh, and 20? Yes. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Seest thou now that faith wrought his works, and by works was faith made perfect? James 2 and 26. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So we all have a work to do for the Lord. And anything, this, is, this, is a small, mean, this is a small thing. And I will provide the Bibles and the books. All you have to do is ask and I'll mail them right out yes. to you. Uh, I can only send two at a time right now. But if you use those two and need more, I'll send them right oh, yeah. out to you. Uh, do we have prayer requests? I do. All right. I pray for everybody. <laughs> Let me get my page here. <clears throat> okay. I want to welcome everyone. And I want to tell you so that we love you so very much. We, we love you so very much. I'm requesting prayers for all of our viewers in the Netherlands, New Zealand, Brazil, Poland, Germany, India, Budapest, Hungary, Queensland and Melbourne, Australia, England, South Africa, Japan, America, and all around the world. Prayers Amen. for Robin in Texas. She still hasn't heard anything on her SSDI. And prayers for needed fellowship. Prayers for Sandy in Minnesota for continued healing of her hip since her surgery, and she is mm. doing a lot better. Prayers for Donna Daniels mm. in Pennsylvania for healing of her jaw. God's mm. presence and direction. Mm. I ask prayers for Cheryl and Gerald in Idaho you, uh, for uh, God's blessings, mm. health, uh, their pain. Mm. Uh, they have a lot of pain in their body. And finances. Uh, um, mm. Let's see. Um, their daughters, Chrysla and Lacey. And Sandra is her oldest daughter. And she has two little boys and a little girl. And she's expecting a little boy. And um, I'm pr I want to ask prayers that he that God brings them into the world healthy. He they had they found a problem with his umbilical cord, and I've been praying for him every night. Mm -hmm. um, James Motley in Texas for God's presence, guidance, and peace. Dee in Australia for continued health, strength, and to be able to continue taking care of her grandchildren. Richard in Australia also for God's presence, health, and protection. Prayers for uh, Stella in the Netherlands, God's presence, guidance, and protection. And we have prayers mm -hmm. for Sammy Presswood, God's blessings, healing, and presence for him, his wife, and his daughter, Samantha. The Lord told me to do that, Sammy. I, I didn't do that on, on my own. The Lord told me to, to bless you. Yes. Um, to help you with your tooth problem. Yes. God, uh, Rob Mills for God's presence healing. Gary for God's miracle. Um, I'm not sure where he lives, but God knows he has cancer of the brain, guys. Um, prayers for Gary and Melissa in mm. Louisiana and their family. Oh, Lord. Prayers that they find mm. a new home. They're still looking. And that Gary's mm. over his pneumonia. I'm sure God's healed him. Prayers for Maria in India, God's mm. touch, presence, and protection. Our love and prayers for Edna Armstrong, Carmen, Bridget, Natalie, and family. Trent, Brenda, Daryl, God, God bless, Kimberly Ann for her adult children and her grandchildren's salvation. Dan Patch, Helena Hendricks, Lena, Smokey, 
Anthony and God's presence, direction, and protection. God bless. I have another Natalie. She's only 13. God's healing of her cancer that she has. Rick is in the hospital. God's healing of his congestive heart failure. And Robert Pingsley, God's healing and for him to be pain-free. Kelsey prayers. She's find, found a new job by now. Prayers for her and her brother's health. Adriana, I'm asking prayers for her family's unbelief and for their salvation. Lucia for healing to be back on the narrow road. <clears throat> Michaela is the lady I spoke about, the 19-year-old. I'm asking for God's continued touch and healing after she had her baby, for her lungs and heart to be cleansed of fluid, and that she'll be home soon with her new baby boy. And that's it, Pat. I, uh, we want to take these to prayer, and we want you to, we invite you to pray along with us. Blessed and most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you. I come before you humbly, Lord. Lord, these are the last days. These are the last days. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we just pray. You you command us to love and you command us to pray. Yes, Lord. So Lord, we're we're praying for these, Lord. We're praying for these. For salvation, for, for comfort. For oh Lord, because the need is so great. The need is so great. Yes. So many pre people are being attacked. And Satan is just running amok, running to and fro in this world, attacking so many, so many, Lord. So, Lord, we just pray. We pray. We beg the blood of Jesus Please, over Lord. these that we've named and those unnamed, Lord. And we just pray the blood of Jesus covers them and touches them and heals them, Lord. And heals them. Heals them. We pray. We pray, Lord. And we claim the word of God. We yes. claim the word of God yes. over these that we've called out, both named and unnamed. We claim the word of God. John 14 and 14. If you ask a thing in my name, I will do it. Oh, Lord, we're standing on your word, Lord. We're standing on your word, Lord. Because that your word is the most important thing. Is the most important thing to us, Lord, in, in this walk that here we have on this earth. And our walk with you, Lord. And our walk with you, Lord. And we just love you so much, Lord. We love you so much. And we just pray to be in your will and in your grace. We are and also we pray, blessed. We, we are also blessed pray for for peace and comfort for all yes. of these that we've yes, named lord. and none named lord for we pray healing. for healing and for, for peace healing. and for comfort lord for we pray all this we pray all this in jesus, jesus mighty mighty, mighty, mighty name. name amen amen, amen and amen in jesus mighty mighty name, i pray amen. we love you so much we pray for all of you mm, our time is short yes our time is short and what we do and what we do in these last days is so very important so very important more important than you know. Keeping our faith in the troubled times, so too, Tom. We need to. We need to stay in prayer. Yes. We need to stay in prayer. Yes, we do. And we pray for you. Mm -hmm. And we love you also very much. God bless you and God keep you each and every one of you safe. It's our prayer. Amen. Amen. If the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to support this ministry, all we ask is that you be faithful to the Holy Spirit. God bless. <laughs>